Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Forgotten versus Francesco Gergatini, and let's go ahead and hop right into a new format match, and we're going to see Forgotten win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first, 40 versus 41, opening hands, we have Black Metal, Levy, Valor, Jerusalem, Desires, they have Ash, Prosperity, Starter, Prosperity, and Smashers, so we're going to see Sprite, going up against dragons not dragon link every time i upload this deck people are like oh this is a horrible dragon link deck it's not dragon link but they're gonna go main phase normal summon link off make striker dragon and then black metal effect so black metal will go ahead and search out red md and then activate desires to go banish and draw so banish 10 we see white dragon banish there you know face down so they can never use that stuff again. And then they're going to Ash the Desires. Okay, Banish Striker, Summon Red MD, Red MD Effect. Bring back out the Black Metal from the Graveyard. And then link those off to make Seal. And then they're not going to be using Black Metal Effects, so they do only play one Red MD. And then Pass Turns, or Druidus Worm. Main Phase, activate Pot of Prosperity to go Banish. So Banish 6. And then we see Mosquito. And then go ahead and look at the top six. And then they're going to grab the Beaver. Put the rest of their cards back to the bottom of the deck now. So are they going to Valor this and then Seal Bounce it and Pray? Because uh, otherwise, like, you let this go through and they have multiple bodies on board. And they just go Battle Phase Attack, Force Out Seal. And then Main Phase 2, they can just Combo. Yeah, so they're going to Valor and then Seal, uh, but they do get punished really hard by just them having Starter in hand. So bring out Magma, Magma effect the search during the end phase, and then activate Starter. And honestly, that right there is already applying so much pressure. So bring out Blue, Blue effect, go search Jet. And they already have Smashers, so then they can go search another Starter, unless they play Double Cross, then they could go grab that. Uh, yep, just go grab Starter. And then link off, go in the sprint, sprint effect, dump angler, angler effect to go bring out double beaver. And then overlay, make gigantic, gigantic effect, detach beaver, go summon out swap frog, and then swap frog, dump swap frog, battle phase beat over, it's at zero, casile, and then attack, the damage is halved though. Yeah, so they're only going to be taking 21, and then go in the elf. Elf, bring out Swap Frog, and then overlay those, make the totally awesome, set Starter, set Smashers, and then end phase, search the Bellions. So they end with Smashers, Starter in the red, or Carrot, Toad, Elf, bring back, and Druus Worm. So they have a bunch of interruptions after, you know, breaking the board. I mean, the board was really just like Seal and one hand trap. How many cards do you have in hand? Three, one, what? Yeah, they have three in hand. Okay, draw black metal. That's a weird question. <laughs> How many cards in hand? What? It's DB. Oh, I don't see them. Okay. So they're probably like bugged out or something. I was like, what do you mean cards in hand? Like, but they're going to Lubellion effect. Go search for a magma. And then enter battle phase. They're going to activate elf effect. Summon back jet. Chain Druus worm to go banish the jet. So they know that they have magma in hand. So they're going to go ahead and Toad Druus Worm, you know, set it to their field. Magma gets summoned, Toad, and Magma. So grab back Beaver. And then, you know, they're going to get the search during the end phase. Okay, okay. And then Special Levy by Banishing. So they're going to banish Lights and Darks, affect the pop. And then in response, activate Smashers. So Smashers are going to be Banishing Elf, Banish Magma, and then they're going to Pomp, Druus Worm, and Starter, and then they're going to Tribute, bring out Lubellion, Lubellion Effect, bring out Beast. They technically could have stopped that by using their Druus Worm, because they haven't, you know, used anything to two lock them this turn, they didn't use Starter. And then Normal Summon Black Metal, Battle Phase, Attack for 31, and then Main Phase 2, go into Seal, and then grab Druus Worm and try to pass. So they do have Druus Worm that they could summon. They are going to summon it by banishing the Belion, draw Ash. 
That's good. That can stop seal summons. So that's going to stop, like, the loop of monsters. So battle phase, attack, and then, you know, they're going to go seal effect. Yeah, so they're going to use it to bounce Druus Worm and then graveyard effect. Drop Ash Blossom on it. And then normal summon beaver. Beaver effect. And then bring out beaver from the graveyard. It's a thing here, you know, they do have Druid Swarm Beast, so they're going to go ahead, banish blue, summon, and then beast tribute, pop the normal summon beaver, Druid Swarm effect, out the other beaver, activate Pot of Prosperity, does it see starter? Nope, okay, but they do hit Jet off of that, and they do take Jet, could have taken Gamma, but at this point, we kind of just need Engine, I think Druid Swarm is definitely enough to keep us alive. Pass, draw black. They do not have white in deck though. So they can't get like a link to off that. They draw magma. And then summon beaver, beaver effect. Alright, now that'll be game whenever they wrap this up. So special summon jet. Jet goes search starter. And they have two bestials in hand too. So like, you know, they already have enough for game with just the sprite stuff. They're gonna starter, bring out blue. And then blue effect, go search red. Okay, so now, if they have Abyss Deal... I mean, if they have Abyss Deal, they would have already dropped it, probably, before, like, in response to starter. Otherwise, they could just summon red, and then they can't do anything. Special summon red, overlay, make gigantic, gigantic effect, detach, go summon. Only has one card in extract, by the way. I was about to say, I want to view what they play exactly... Because the only card we don't know is that last one, but that's just another elf. Cool, so we got this whole extra deck. And then, on into the next game. Uh, so now we're going to see dragons decide to go first again. We got Valor, Magma, Valor, Desire, Skill Drain. They have Starter, Imperm, Shifter, Magma, Gamma. Yeah, one way to beat Shifter is to just simply floodgate them back. Drop Shifter during standby. Go main phase, activate desires. So go banish 10. Draw desires and ash blossom. Looking at the banishes, regained is gone forever. And that's it. Cool. So we only hit one thing. You know, drawing desires off desires isn't the best draw, but desires was still an upstart plus a random card in hand that can still be used to draw two more. Magma to banish Shifter. Chain Gamma. Ooh. Yeah. That's tough. I was going to say, if they Ash that, I wouldn't blame them completely just because we don't have any other plays. Pass. They draw Blue. And then Magma Effect. Banish Shifter from Graveyard. Summon. And then Effect to Search during End Phase. Chain Skill Drain. So Attack with 25. And then they're going to Set Imperm Pass. Draw Safer. We didn't banish any of the baby dragons. So we're going to summon Safer, Safer Defect, get rid of itself, go search, and then it's going to grab the black dragon, summon out black dragon by banishing Safer, then link in the striker, black to go search white, and then summon white by banishing black, and then normal summon Valor, a link off. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I guess it makes sense to play this card because, like, you have like Lubelion, you have Levy, you you don't get Dark Locked. There's no way people are like expecting this card. Like when you summon this every single time, it will be unexpected. Battle phase, attack over, and then we're gonna pass. They draw a Jet, so they need to beat a 3,000 attack monster without monster effects. That is going to prove to be very tough. Then they're going to starter, chain ash, draw druid swarm. Hey, there we go. There we go. That does it. Druid swarm, banish magma. I was thinking, like, you know, they're going to need druid swarm, a smashers maybe. Link those into dark, druid swarm, out the BLS. Attack for 1850. Pass turn, draw chaos space. Okay, I don't think. Oh, we have a target? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Levy. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like, oh, too bad we don't have a dark to go search for Lubellion, but that's crazy because now we have like 
two different light and dark targets for chaos space. This card just always has so many options. It's cool. Summon Levy by banishing lights and darks. Chaos space, banish to go put back and draw one. So put back the black, draw Soren here, and then activate Soren here. Banish Jet, and that's a big body, so we're gonna see them admit defeat. And then on into game three, Sprite will go first. Opening hands, Sornir, Red MD, Valor, Gamma, Meister. They have Swap Frog, Starter, Blue, Starter, and Gamma Burst. Also, since we've been showing off this Dragon deck a lot, at first, like the first build that we saw, that was definitely just like a money match deck because that deck was like built directly four tier with every hand trap being four tier, it seemed like. But now it seems like the hand traps are a little bit more generic. Um, you know, deck would definitely still have a good matchup against tier, I think, just because, like, the like, amount of hand traps, and, but, yeah, I don't think this deck would have that bad of a rogue matchup, especially, like, if you built it for more of, like, a tournament setting or DB rated setting, but they, they have Gamma Burst going in first, which is interesting, uh, Meister's also not bad against this deck, so they're going to summon Swap Frog Effect, they let it go through. Kind of surprised they chose to not Gamma that. And then Special Blue, Blue Effect, that goes through. Go grab Jet, Summon Jet, Jet Effect. So Jet will now go search out for Double Cross. And then activate Starter, Starter goes Summon Red. Uh, link into Sprint, Sprint Dump Angler. I mean, you're definitely going to let this go through, because that's, like, where your Meister's live. So, Dump Angler, Effect, Chain Meister, and then they're going to Chain Red to try to Tribute and Negate. And then Chain Gamma. So, we're going to get to destroy the Red. So, now this puts them on have another body, which they just don't have. Alright, that's fair. Um, they could Swap Frog bounce itself back to hand. So, they're gonna set, end phase, Sornir, banish Jet, summon, and then draw Ash Blossom. Let's go main phase, battle phase, attack over swap, and then pass turn, they're gonna starter, chain Ash, draw Jet, set, and pass. So... Technically, Jet could beat over Sornir because they have a Gamma Burst. They draw Lubellion, but they don't want to have that, like, do that yet. And yeah, they just scooped the Lubellion. That's tough. Yeah, I mean, they did have game. I don't, yeah, they didn't know that they had game, but they just Lubellion search for Magma, summon it, affect the search during end phase. Uh, you could tribute it for Lubellion, tribute something for Lubellion, and then Lubellion, bring out Trap, Banish, bring out Red MD, and then Red MD plus a Bastille is already game, but then it can also bring back whatever you tributed, or whatever you searched off Lubellion. Um, so yeah, they admit defeat, and then seeing how long the match was, the match was about 30 minutes long, and we are going to see Francesco Gergagatini lose their aka geg 15 aka you know a, a db troll but one thing one thing about this player though is they, they haven't been trolling as much i haven't seen anything bad from them for a while so maybe geg 15 finally changed his ways finally see like none of this was toxic it's all fine it's all fine but with all that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe